Hi, my name is Craig and welcome to Chem 21 Labs. I have to admit I love Chemistry Lab. There's perhaps nothing more academically enjoyable than collecting data, performing calculations, and then proving scientific concepts. Now of course anyone can collect lab data, but a successful chemistry student must learn how to convert their lab data into meaningful information that's both reported and explained in a lab report. I think it's universally accepted that the key component in any learning process is immediate feedback or what we call active learning. You have to know if you're doing something correctly or incorrectly to truly learn from that experience. I think most of our students, the learners, are most interested in solving a problem correctly at that point in time in which they submit their answer. But in the traditional lab environment that most students experience today, lab reports are turned in at the next lab period and then ideally graded and returned by the professor to the student the following lab period. Now this is a minimum of two weeks between data collection and feedback from the professor. But as professors instinctively, I think we all know that if the feedback we provide on data entry and lab material is not immediate, then it really doesn't matter if it comes in two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, or five weeks. I think that feeling is augmented based on the fact when we watch our students take the graded lab report, look at the grade, and then stuff it into their backpack never to think about it again. Now, that's a problem. In fact, a big, big problem. This learning that was supposed to be possible in this exciting hands-on lab experience is not occurring for one simple reason. The feedback is unnecessarily delayed. So what's the solution? Well, in 2005, Chem 21 Labs began using 21st century technology in the internet to infuse the lab experience with this key learning component called immediate feedback. Since that time, universities like Auburn, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Toledo, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, UNC Greensboro, Western Carolina, and Johns Hopkins University, and so many others have helped the Chem 21 team by not only using the program, but also suggesting features to the online lab submission program. Today, the Chem 21 program can transform the labs that you currently employ into powerful learning experiences that will finally reach their maximum potential. We want to make it clear, professors, you don't have to adopt new labs. With Chem 21 Labs, students know immediately whether a submitted answer is correct or incorrect. In fact, they even get multiple chances to enter the correct answer. So additional thought and learning is taking place even when the incorrect answers are submitted. If a student's unable to arrive at the correct answer in the available attempts, the correct answer is then provided to the student from the program so that they can use that data in any future calculations. With Chem 21, a student can take their data, whether it's good or bad, and obtain feedback and an automatic grade on the calculated answers derived from their data. Now in conclusion, there's two exciting features that result from adding this technology to the lab experience. First, the lab report contains correct answers throughout, which makes error analyses now very meaningful for both teacher and student. Secondly, the program can use the student data to generate class web reports that rival what can be done with the same exact information in any spreadsheet program that we know of. These web reports can evaluate the quality of the collected data. Is it accurate? Is it precise? And then automatically assign a grade based on the rubric provided by you, the lab instructor. Now, what do you say? I think it's time we take a closer look at the Chem 21 lab program in action. Go to www.chem21lab.com and log in as a student. Click the View Assignments link and select a current assignment. Enter your collected lab data and click the Continue button. Review the entered data for mistakes and click the Confirm button. Click the Click Here link to go to the next item in the lab. This lab begins with a thermometer calibration curve where students follow the directions given to create a similar graph in a spreadsheet program. Slope and y-intercept data from the spreadsheet are automatically graded. Incorrect answers are displayed with calculation hints. The corrected bowling point is found by using the slope and y-intercept along with the observed bowling point. With a corrected bowling point of 66.3 and a density of 0.793, the unknown liquid was easily identified as number 8, methyl alcohol. Open-ended questions can be asked throughout the lab as introduction, procedure, error analysis, or post-lab questions. To view this lab from the instructor's perspective, pick up a copy of the instructor's guide for the identification of an unknown liquid lab.